Hey guys! As you may have heard, we are playing some League of Legends. And we are going to jump into the new game mode, uh, Nexus Blitz, today. And see what that's all about. I did play one game earlier, so I sort of know what to expect. But still very new. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Let's go ahead and ban Riven. Riven's always a pain. Strong bans from the other team as well, I see. I like to play Lux, so we're gonna play Lux. I really like Lux, as you can see. Okay, so... This is uh, the first time I have streamed League, so after the stream I will evaluate things like the volume and all that. At this point I am still just really hoping that this works. So, I figure we'll play this for just a bit. Maybe just one or two games. Ah, I see someone else really loves Lux. I guess she's really good in this game mode. So, League of Legends, for those who somehow don't know, is a MOBA that is a massive online battle arena so you pick a champion uh, you become familiar with their abilities and then you run around the map you kill minions to gain golden experience experience levels you up makes you stronger and gold you spend on items that also makes you stronger uh, the goal of the game being to kill your opponents and destroy their nexus at the other end of the map and of course they're trying to do the same to you. You'll have to go through turrets and other things to get there. And of course your opponents to get there. So, it took me a while to figure out that apparently I have to stream this in windowed mode. Or it, uh, because XSplit does not like it in full screen mode. But anyway, seems to work fine like this. <clears throat> so let's see how the game goes the only thing I really know about this is that it's a tinier version of Summoner's Rift and that it's got crazy events and plays kinda quickly so it's fast paced which is what I like Seems we are still waiting. On Miss Random Mandy. Oh boy, let's hope she doesn't like DC or something. Or if she does, 
I hope she reconnects. <coughs> And I know it's not me, because the circle down here is still moving, so... There we go. Okay. Now, let the craziness begin. We're just gonna go straight on down here. I'm gonna follow my usual patterns. Maybe. Hmm. As a frequent shopper, should I receive a discount? Welcome to Nexus Blitz. The brightest light starts as just a spark. My, my, my. Ezreal's a little late to the party. That's okay. So our team is not off to a particularly great start. That's all right. Oh boy. So I'm just leaning against this Pantheon. Pushing him a little bit. Sorry for being so quiet there. Not quite used to streaming this just yet. Especially the early game against a Pantheon can be a little scary. But, anyway. It's part of the reason I love Lux so much. Is because she has such incredible long-range poke. Pantheon went up to try and gank. That didn't work out for him. Now they're trying to come down here. Okay, but I have already reached level six, so I have a small advantage over this person who just reached level five. Uh, however, I do not have a numbers advantage, so gonna have to play careful. There we go. ran out of mana for the shield. Oh well. This Lux 
went for some more aggressive items, whereas I went for some more passive ones that will be stronger later. So we'll see how that works out though, since my team is already behind a little bit. Uh, I have no idea what's going on. Oh, oh, I see. This looks like it could take a while, actually. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, looks like my allies are doing better now. I don't know what in the world to think of this event. Such a weird event. Oh my goodness. Don't know what's going on. We won the event though. So we get some kind of bonuses. I'll take that kill with an auto attack from a mage. My opponent chose fire, I chose water. Perfect. But I need to retreat. I am low on mana. I don't know, I don't even know what winning that event gave us. More gold? More gold maybe? I don't know. Or wait, what is this? What? What is this? What's going on? What? I don't understand. I did that very wrong, I'm sure. I have no idea what's going on. Except that my ally is getting killed. I'm going to get that kill. Ah! Shield was on cooldown. Dang. Just trying to get out. The other Lux caught me. Enemy team is working together pretty well, so I'm not sure how this is how well this will go. But we are finally gonna get our first uh, heavy AP item completed. Alright, just gonna keep clearing minions and farming, it's all about patience. So, I did manage to deal a bunch of damage before going down. Still don't understand the sleigh thing. Maybe that was our reward? I don't know. I'm still just trying to survive and make it right now. Every time I go to lane, stuff happens. Looks like the next event is the Earth deathmatch thing. Oh boy. Oh, I know what this is. We all get Earth powers temporarily. And we go for a deathmatch, and these little hearts above our heads are. are, um. 
number of lives. That is our number of chances. Our number of chances to um, take away all their lives. Crap, I died once. Try and shield everyone if I can. Trying to stay alive as well. This is super chaotic. Oh my goodness, I don't think we're going to make it. If you want me to be real. <laughs> I don't think we're going to make this. Yeah. We didn't. But all those kills and all that random nonsense did give us a bunch of gold, I think. BF shields is what they got. I have no idea. At least not yet. But we will see. Oh, oh, they just have big shields. Okay. Well. Take that kill. Oof, man, it is hard to actually commentate and focus at the same time. At least for now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and our especially when our team is behind, it's even more difficult. Yeah, this is not good at all. Ah, dang it. Shouldn't have gone straight backwards. Enemy Lux caught me. Okay. Jeez, what do I even build next? Um, actually, I think I know exactly what to build next. Um, we need a void staff to cut through all of that magic resist that I'm sure some of those tanks are packing. I'm going to teleport over here. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, and then there's the flaming circle nonsense. It looks like the circle is collapsing here. Ah, oh, dang it. I'm assuming everything beyond the circle just dies, but yeah. Yeah, it looks like we're just gonna lose hands down here. But we'll see. We'll still try, of course. Right to the end. Okay. 
So the enemy team wasn't able to finish it off quite yet, but we're still in a really bad spot. Let's see if we can do something. Oh, I knocked it, knocked him right out of my, right out of my E, great. Well, it's good that I have enough AP now to just one-shot the back minions, though, at least. We'll go ahead and just take that. Oh, finally become dark. I mean, at this point, we're just killing whatever we can while we still can. Okay, um, I'm gonna move my shield to five before I forget. Oh my goodness. Push cart to defend, prevent the enemy from pushing shields up okay go ahead and just take that kill and that one. And I don't know how dangerous this thing is or not. Apparently they have to push with their minions to do this from what it appears. We want it. Good. Good, because we need it. We need it pretty badly. I'll take all that gold. That was wonderful. I actually need to go back and make sure I get some items. I am... Oh, no. Whatever that is. Uh, I need some heavy AP. And quickly... We're going to go for Deathfire's Grasp. And hope that that's enough. We're going to go for some of this and some of that. So lots and lots and lots of AP. Should be able to pretty much toast anyone we want. are dealing a pretty solid amount of damage. Oh, here we go. It's these Nexus thingies that are coming out. We have to kill these and whoever does so wins. So it's... It's kind of a crazy way to end. Oh my gosh! Oh no, the enemy team has control now! Oh my gosh! This might actually turn around in their favor too. This is actually crazy. Oh my gosh, they won but it was actually close. Dang. Okay, so... This, in case... In case you couldn't tell, is a really hectic mode. Um, 
Yeah, sure. I'll just... Yeah. <laughs> wow. Especially towards the end and with all those events. Very hectic. Oh my. Well, Void Staff is usually for the win. Man. Okay. Let's try that one more time. Then we'll probably switch games, but we gotta do this at least once more. That was too much fun to just give up. Gotta try and get a win out of this. Hmm. Should I try someone else, actually, is another good question. Hmm. Uh. No, no. At the moment, I feel safest with Lux. I like my long range poking in tiny corridors, at least for the moment, until I'm more comfortable with the mode in general. It's definitely going to take some getting used to. <coughs> All right. So... Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and prep to ban Riven again. Because Riven is a constant threat. Learn from your mistakes. And no ban from this person who's might not be here. Great. Alright. So Lux it is. Gonna keep on using our elementalist skin because it is beautiful. It's basically like, what is it, 12 skins in one? Yeah, I'm not really feeling comfortable with this mode just yet, so no Master Yi yet. I do, lo I do love me some Master Yi, though. I do. I just... I don't know. I want to get a feel for these modes first. We'll come back and do this again for sure. Because this event is lasting for several more days, I believe. Might as well just keep streaming it. Well. Long range poke, long range poke, long range poke. Uh, yeah, long range poke. And tank. Yep. Alright, so. <clears throat> also, Championship Ash here. Nice border. Um. 
We have two mirrors. We have a Yasuo. And we have a Ziggs. So yeah. All long range poke and uh and an assassin. Sort of. Everybody seems to have the same idea. Um they have more AD though. More so than AP. Although I, although I'm not quite sure why I'm saying that, since I'm Lux, I can't really take advantage of that. The only thing I can do is build up my AP. So, I'm just gonna start with this briefly and head on to mid lane. So this is very strange. There, I mean, up here it looks like there is another tower, but there's no lane. It's just a defensive tower to keep people from going through this direction, I guess? There's only two lanes. Hi, MF. I am glad I turned back in time to see that. Um... Didn't hit her. Oh well. Ooh, and she took a tower shot. That was definitely not her intention. So MF playing a little aggressive, a little low on health, so I don't really want to be too close. Looks like there's a fight down here. Not sh so sure what I can really do about it. Should have flashed away from that. I thought I could survive it, but didn't have shield. Oh well, needed to go back anyway. Let's go ahead and finish this item off as quickly as we can. That was something I didn't do last time. Last time I went for Rabadons while stacking tier. I wonder. I'm gonna try and go for Archangels right away this time. This time we have a lot of buddies in lane. But that just means there'll be more of them coming. I'll go ahead and take that poke. Solid poke, but unfortunately we keep losing people. Hmm. Ah, finally. Our team got its first taste of blood. All right. 
right? So a fair trade, I suppose. Whoa! Oh! The racing game. I think Ziggs is actually going to give us a huge edge here. Ah, okay. Because Ziggs can actually knock it back and I can stun it. Might have a big advantage, maybe. That is, of course, if I were there. But, it did. of course, the event would have to start while I was... Uh, low on health so now I have to somehow run back here quickly it looks like we do get a speed boost coming so we'll go ahead and stun theirs in place I love how Ziggs can do that. That's kind of crazy. Should be able to perma stun this, actually. Oh my gosh. I. We somehow won that. We got that. Oh my goodness. Just so hectic. So hectic. I kind of like it. Kind of like how crazy this is right now. Okay, but definitely do need to go back now. Ziggs is pushing top wonderfully with the Poro King. Does this come in multiple colors? Um, sadly, it does not seem that we have the ability to jump to the Poro King like we can in the actual the old Poro King mode. I can, however, teleport to this minion, apparently. I was trying to teleport to the Poro King, but I guess, I guess this will do. I'll take these. Excellent. I have no idea what's up with the fire breathing Poro King here. That was basically free right there. I. Is that just the way it's going to keep attacking the tower with the ranged attack? Because that actually seems a little broken, that it can attack the tower from range like that. Ah, tried to shield, not in time. Oh, oh gosh, hijacks. Did not see him coming. Okay. Hmm. Okay. What can I get? What can I get? Rabadons. Head for Rabadons. So we're doing all right. Not sure about great, but all right. I think Yasuo's wind wall is contributing a great deal just because he can block all these projectiles. It's going to be very, very handy. Also, I'll just take that ash. 
And then, oh, the flaming circle thing. Oh, no. Okay. that okay not sure why Morgana has so much health but yeah yeah that event didn't really start at the best time for some of our teammates like Ash didn't have a whole lot of health so these events there's a tiny bit of random chance involved in, in them it seems because of when they start I'm not sure if there's been warnings up here or not. I've been so focused on the game. I haven't really been able to pay as much attention as I would have liked. No to Jax. Goodbye, Ash. Wasn't even sure I was going to get that. But I'm glad I did. Oh gosh, Jax again. Ugh. This Jax is going to be a problem. Oh, that's going to be an even bigger problem. Oh, here we go. Okay. I was about to say, please no. Okay. Right. So normally I'd get a Void Staff around here. I don't think I'm going to do that this time because they don't really have a ton of magic resist, I think. Hmm. Yeah. I think we're just going to get... Lots and lots. Oh. Lots and lots of AP. Remember to move this to 5 before I forget. So I can shield. 5 is the hotkey I use for my shield. So while they're fighting down there... Uh-oh. Loot Timo? Okay. So we have to find Timo and kill him, I guess. Is he though? Oh, there. Oh my goodness, I even used my shield and it just disappeared. But it looks like my team is going to win the fight. Or maybe not. Hi, Jax. Man, that Jax. Jax and Yasuo are becoming pivotal in this game. That seems to be what's actually going on. Hmm. Hmm. This is actually starting to look pretty good. Percent max health damage, huh? Well, hold up. Let's see, what does Jax have? He does have some magic resist, but not a lot. So, yeah, let's, let's try Leandri's Torment. The upgraded, the, the new updated Leandri's Torment is actually really nice. And I say new, but I don't play League very often, so it's actually kind of an old update. Let's 
so. Hoping for the snipe didn't quite work, but we'll take that Morgana. That's not good. Yep. That Jax. Jax is just... Jax is the biggest bane right now. Yeah, holy cow, he does damage. Yeah, that Jax is a problem. He has got to go down. Okay. Start with this haunting, guys. And we'll see if our team can recover from this Jax. But first, All right. Earth de oh no. Earth deathmatch. Okay. Well, at least they warned us. Or maybe they have been this whole time and I just didn't know. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, you know, here it comes. Oh no. Okay, well. This could be problematic. All just because of Jax, really. I mean, I don't know, maybe Yasuo will get us out of this somehow. Oh my gosh! Oh, dang it. Yeah, so... Pretty much as predicted. This Jax is a problem. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there wasn't much to be done. Yeah. Jax is a, apparently a very strong pick here. Okay. But we have Leandre's Torment now. We're not out of it yet. And, to be fair, even with all these events, the game apparently comes down to just that last super sudden death thing, unless you can push the enemy out and win. Oh, here it is. Yeah, like, this seems to be what actually determines the game. Although, them having that's probably not... Oh, no, they get to have that and... Oh, that's not good. So I got an enemy, but in the end, I don't think it's going to matter because they're going to get our Nexus too quickly. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, that jacks just so much damage. That's all right. It was a nice try, I feel. All right, so here on this stream, uh, I like to let my viewers have at least some say in what happens next, so go ahead and let me know in the chat. Uh, you want to see maybe one more game of this, or shall I switch over to another game?
Once more into the breach, okay. Then we shall, we shall try for one more. And this time I think I shall go Jax. <laughs> I am a big Jax fan as well. Hmm, or actually maybe I should try Yi first. Yeah. Yeah, I'll try Yi first, why not? If it doesn't get banned, that's the big thing. Master Yi does tend to get banned, so we'll see. So, again, we shall ban Riven, because Riven is a pain. Although, really, we should be, I guess we should be banning more ranged champions, though. Ah, oh, yep, see, there it goes. All right, Jax, it is. Let's do this. Obviously, we're going to want to switch this, and there we go. Best skin for Jax by far. Arnold Trump. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Anyway. Pantheon always wanted to be a beggar. Haven't seen too much of Pike. Pike is a relatively new ADC. He, he's been out for a while, but I haven't seen much of him, honestly. Like even back when he first came out, he's a he's an ADC, but he's got a he's got a grab. He's got a he's got a hook, kind of like Blitz, only a little shorter range. From what I understand of him, he's a very interesting, very interesting champion. I have no idea how this team is gonna work. We do have Pantheon Jax, though, and Kennen, so we're good for, like, AoE stun. Oh, but they do have Olaf, of course, because that's exactly what they needed. The one thing that counters all stuns. Okay. Um... So I'm not going jungle jack, so I'm not even sure what to build. Since this mode is faster, I think I'm actually just gonna start with, uh, just gonna go straight Trinity Force and see what happens, honestly. Just gonna dive into Trinity Force. They have a Shaco as well, that's gonna be interesting. To see, oh gosh, yeah, especially in like the Earth stuff. Oh my gosh, yeah. Ready for battle. Uh, 
Okay. So there's two people in this lane. That's problematic. Oh no, looks like Shaco's just wandering. Might not be so bad. Yeah, go ahead and take that tower shot. I'm okay with this. Um. Don't know. Well, I think there was a bit of lag there because I tried to jump a lot sooner than that. Problem with Jax is we're definitely going to get harassed a lot early on. That's okay. This Jinx is actually almost out of mana. So. Who's next? So we'll make her flash. And then we'll run away. First. Make her expend traps. I'll get the kill. Stun that, and maybe... Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I cannot believe I just lived through that. Oh my goodness. That 40 HP roundabouts. Oh man. Okay. <coughs> now let's see what we can do with it. Got, managed to get that kill and get out. Man, maybe Jax was the right pick all along. We'll see. KDA uh, Kaisa over here. Cassidy's daughter, more popular than he is. Or at least at the moment. Ah, turret damage. Oh well. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, and Jinx put herself in a bad position because we have lots of stuns on our team. Alrighty. I think we have enough points in Counter-Strike. Ordinarily, you want a lot of points in Empower first, but my biggest concern with this particular map... Aha, so they do warn us. Okay. Oh gosh, so my biggest concern with this map really is just the is just the fact that um, oh my gosh, why is the whole enemy team here? Um, yeah, okay. My biggest concern on this particular map is just the, the fact that we get into fights like this so often that really I was concerned that we might need Counter-Strike more often. So, I wanted to make sure we had ample points in it. Unfortunately, it looks like we are going to lose this hands down because uh, my team was not quite on the ball. Oh, there's that hook from uh, Pike. I don't think it's going to be enough. Or maybe it will. Nope. Nope. Not enough. <laughs> battle sled. Oh, it's that thing that gets them in and out of battle really fast. Yeah, it's that sled we had from last time. Alright. 
Well, we don't want to tower dive quite yet. Let's try and get this instead and see what happens. I'll just take that and walk away. And then continue on my merry way. Ah, oh, he flashed out of it. That's fine. It's kind of nice music. Of course, anything is better than standard league music at this point. Nope. Time to leave. We also noticed, I noticed, get 11 gold just for a minion dying near us. So, we don't have to last hit. Well, we should, but we don't have to. That actually makes this a lot more tolerable than regular league, in my opinion. <sighs> so next up, we need some uh, some vamp for sure. So this is why TP is good. Just teleport right back to lane without losing too much. Someone is taking that, so... Uh-oh. Loot Vagar, aha. We actually get gold for attacking it. Oh my gosh, that's kind of cool. But they ended up killing it. Oh, crap. Yep. Oh, well. So it looks like I think they got like the Poro King or something. Hold on. Yeah. All right. But it should only be worth something if... If they're not all dead. And if we get Shen for it, it might be worth. Take the double kill. But we do have to get rid of this Poro King. Very important. He's going to get at this tower, unfortunately. I will gladly tank a little bit for my team. Ooh, this enemy's on fire. I'm gonna use my ult to get out of here safely. Yeah, I don't want to get anywhere near this fight anymore. Time to leave. Let my allies handle that. So, for those who don't know, being on fire uh, is what happens when you kill a lot of enemies. Um, when you're on fire, you deal more damage, but you also die faster. So that's an important thing to note. Um, they have a lot of AD, so I'm going to go for, um, for some health and armor. Uh, Taken away from basic attack, critical strikes. Hmm. No, let's go for Dead Man's Plate, because I want that move speed. Has 
Ooh, he has a stun too. Pike. Interesting. Oh. Prize fight. Prize fight. I have not even I have not seen this one before. Series of duels? What? And they just pick randomly who goes? Oh no! Well, oh, okay. But that was a good move by our team, though. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, gosh. It would be Shaco. It would be Shaco. I'm glad I got my uh, self healing. I don't know if it's going to be enough, though, at this rate. Oh my gosh, I targeted the right one. I didn't know which Shaco it was, but I got it. Oh, the Shaco box, really? Ah, dang it, there was no way to, yeah. Between the traps and the box that, uh, the box is what did it. If that box had not been there, oh well. Oh, looks like Ez has got the advantage here. Yep, nice. Nice. Okay. So this mode just keeps getting funner and funner, actually. Huh. Interesting. Actually, I'm going to save my teleport. Not sure what's going on with their tower. Uh, oh, no, there we go. Oh, suddenly this is a party. I just kill both of them. That's one surefire way to get rid of Shaco. Kill them both. Jax does have a lot of power. I love Jax so much. It's nice. Alright. I'm gonna take Shaco with me if I'm going down. Yeah, so they have lots and lots of AD, very little AP, so I was right in going armor. So we're gonna keep going armor. We're gonna go Thorn Mail next. And no, I will not get boots. So that's just how I do things. This time we are gonna burn teleport because it looks like team will need me for pushing maybe there we go oh man Ugh. Ugh. I don't know if I can win this fight with Olaf, though. Actually, the healing might be enough. Ah, yes, it was. And we have push. I have no idea. I will take that. Shaco, unfortunately, you are no match for me. Nice try.
this push the cart thing doesn't seem like it yeah it doesn't seem like it actually does oh yeah see because it pushes with our minion wave and if our minion wave is not at the enemy tower it doesn't work but it I assume it automatically destroys it if we succeed but I have yet to see anyone succeed at this so yeah especially when they have that cart yeah hmm Hmm, what to do? We've got good armor now. Oh, what am I thinking? Of course, a classic item on Jax. Blade of the Rune King. Now. Death timers are still quite long. Oh, ah, oh, freaking boxes. Shaco boxes. Oh, what? This guy has them everywhere. Also, sudden death really soon, so I'm glad I have healing. So that's going to be very important. Also, Olaf just burned his ultimate. Or maybe he was already on it, I don't know. Either way. Ah, dang it. Come on. Do they get that card for the rest of the game? I think they do. Yeah, we might actually still lose this. And I'm trying to get in, but... Yeah. Couldn't get to Jinx. Yeah, the ADC helped out too much. Dang it. Oh well. Still, had plenty of fun. Blowing up people with Jax. I think I'm gonna keep doing Jax. Mmm. Uh, the one above Pantheon and Jung. Uh, sorry, I don't know. I mean, Pantheon, Kennen, Pike, and, and Ezreal is who we had. Uh, I'm going to give it to this Pantheon because he did good. Okay. Hey, look at that. We get some rewards. Cool. I'll figure out what those mean later. Uh, but for now, uh, League is a little tiring after a, little, after a while. So I'm going to go ahead and switch games now. Um, however, um, I still do like to let my chat uh, decide what comes next. So um, I have StarCraft. I have... Um, Smash Brothers and uh, Mech Warrior Online to choose between. So, if you have a preference, go ahead and leave it in the chat for me, and we'll go ahead and play that next. But I think I'm definitely tired out of League for the moment. One can only withstand so much adrenaline. Player's choice, fair enough. All right, so I think 
I think I'm in the mood for some uh, for some Mech Warrior online. Play a couple rounds of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch the game real quick. And head over to intermission while I set up MechWare Online. I will see you all in just a bit. Achieved with... All right, so we're back, and here we are in MechWarrior Online. We're going to go ahead and be playing the Stalker today, because I need to build up its skill points. Stalker is one of my two LRM mechs. Let's see what we can get done with it today. Let's have fun raining down explosives on our enemies heads from far far away if we can all right uh, Frozen City is a decent choice, so we're going to go with that. Domination, of course, to force everyone to the center of the map. Um, it looks like we are going to get Domination, but not Frozen City. Ooh, Crimson Strait can be very tricky. There's a large enclosure here that could prevent our LRMs from landing, so this is going to be interesting. Not the best map. That's all right. We'll see if we can make do. So domination is all about holding the center point of the map. There's a sort of a satellite dish kind of tower thing in the middle and 
one of us, at least one of us, has to be in that circle that will be indicated on the minimap. Um, otherwise, um, if one of the enemies is occupying the circle, a timer will start counting down, and if if we don't stand in the circle, their timer will go all the way down from one minute to zero, and then they win. So someone has to stand in the circle so that their timer doesn't go down. What's up? Hello, team. Please lock your targets. <clears throat> all right, I got a missile boat with all the electronic bells and whistles, so call out your targets. Same here. Support mech, lots of AMS. <coughs> so, so uh, because we all have to stand in that central area, domination tends to force both teams to the center, where lots of heavy fighting would occur. But for us, we get to stand back a ways and hope that we can hit people from range. I hope. Like I said, that giant roof, that giant overpass there can definitely get in the way. And if it does, yeah, it could be a problem. But we'll see. We have an Annihilator and a Fafnir on our team. All right, and being on this side of the map, all right, we will go this way. Try. Uh, let's head out toward Alpha. I've got ACM. I can cover you, and we can bomb the whole area from there. Oh, thank goodness! That circle is just now coming into view on the mini map. If you can see it down in E4 and E5. Uh, the yellow, yellowish circle there. Uh, it is not too close to the overpass, which means we might actually be able to hit things with our LRMs. Thank goodness. Uh, yeah, we don't want to stray too far from our team, though. Uh, yeah, actually, it might be a good idea to take that high ground there. It might actually be a good idea. Since we have it. Thank you very much. Just felt like black and red. Hostiles have already started to make a dent. Be sure Somebody get in that them. circle. We're working on them. Yep, see the enemy team had a light mech that ran into the circle Nobody real fast. And their their timer in red up on the top of the screen there is Heck, I'm in the back here. I'm almost in it. There we go. Was decreasing. Okay. Now, we're almost close enough to use our LRMs. There we go. Come on now. Right about here. Right about here. We don't want to get too much closer than this. Ah, see, we're getting shot at. That's not good. We're not supposed to be shot at. Ah, but we are getting blocked. We are getting blocked. stand right about here so it's harder to target us and we have to wait for our enemies to lock targets lock your targets please if you can Target acquired. all right so The advantage to LRM mechs, I am dealing lots and lots of damage from a distance without them being able to do any, pretty much anything about it. As long as other people lock their targets for me, that is the disadvantage. Oh, exceeded my heat limit a bit. Oh well. Hotel, hotel. I'll sit here and wait to cool down. So if I get it, if I could get a lock on it. Can't right now. So I'm gonna switch to chain fire, try and minimize heat 
since I've already burned my cool shot. Oop. They do have a good amount of AMS though. I wish I could keep going in group fire. But all those lasers and guns that are shooting up right there are targeting our missiles and taking them out before they can hit targets. Or some of them, not all of them. So I really wish I didn't have to quite do it like this. Oh, there we go. Got one. And we got kill most damage dealt. So we're almost out of missiles. We're about to have to move in with our backup weapons here. Try and release all of it. Losing the lock while the missiles are in the air um, does, in fact, mean that the missiles will not hit their target. It's a little bit silly, but there it is. There we go. So I am out of LRMs now, so it's, we're down to these medium lasers. Got to do whatever we can. Help me on the island. I'm gonna move in and we're gonna hope to do something is what we're gonna do. Try and get behind these buildings and see if we can do anything. Oh, now we're getting hit with missiles. So I'm gonna try and peek around this corner. We'll see if we can do anything with our little medium lasers. up there. Oh, 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 and they're coming through at us. All right. I'm going to try and let my gargoyle buddy take as much of the damage as I can because Thank you. I don't have much to fight back with. New target acquired. Oh, gosh, yep. Yeah, see, we got instantly wrecked. But we did 608 damage, and most of that, we were nowhere near the enemy dealing. So we're 4-4 four and four for our team here, spectating this Annihilator, who has a lot of rotaries. Whoa. Okay. So if this guy ever gets in the action... Oh, yeah, he's looking for this guy who was behind us. Ooh, guys in the tunnel. But against an Annihilator, that's actually bad for them. Looks like he's firing his Rack 5s. Yep, yep. No idea. Come on. Use your lasers too now. Hmm. This is a very strange build for an Annihilator. <coughs> Not exactly maximizing his firepower, but maybe he's new. Meanwhile, SRM-4 and AC-10 on a Roughneck. Hmm. Interesting. He'll have good mounts because his AC-10 is up here, meaning he can actually shoot at anything he can see, basically. Whereas if his mount was down here, it might, like, hit something before hitting the target. There we go. Good deal. We are ahead, slightly. Excellent. So, team looks like they're doing okay for now. He's a good shot, too. He's not missing that much. That was bad, though. Interesting hitbox build. 
Yeah, he's a stick. All his weapons are gone. Oh well. Yeah. So let's see what this Vapor Eagle's up to with his ER, PPCs, and machine guns. Hmm. Interesting. This Direwolf has a weird build too. Overheating. ERPPCs do generate a lot of heat. It's a pretty close game. Ooh, that dire wolf is still alive, though. Why is that dire wolf still alive? I want a tad or something. Dire wolf and an adder left. Adder's in the tunnel chasing me. Alright, everybody move to the center of the circle. I don't know how that dire wolf is still alive. Just barely. Good shot, Vapor Eagle. GG. GG. I don't know how I'm still alive. I've got no torso, no leg, no arm. <laughs> it's a pretty scrappy <laughs> match. Very scrappy. All right. So that was interesting. Lots of back and forth on that one. All right, let's go ahead and switch mix. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do with our dire wolf. Um, we're gonna go for the ultra AC 50 build. So we walk up to enemies and we basically, we just double tap them for a hundred damage. It's a real good pushing build. Works especially well if our team will get together. Has some heat troubles, but it's fun otherwise. Um, let's try Caustic Valley. Oh, wow, and apparently everyone agrees with me. More domination. Force everyone to the center. All right, so Caustic Valley is a interesting map. It's basically one giant hill and flatlands all around. I mean, looking at the picture, you can't really tell, but mostly, mostly flat with one giant hill in the middle. So it's definitely very different. There's not nearly as much cover from LRMs, but it's kind of interesting trying to get a lock because this central area here is just a giant hill. Our 
All right, guys, let's stick together and shove them down. Try. Online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. This is Clan Command. Get to the target and capture it. <coughs> Cut down any enemies that get in the way. All right. So relatively open out here. Few hills, minor things. But mainly up there in the mountains. Make a point not to ditch our assaults in a NASCAR attempt. Instead, let us murder balls successfully. Yep. Yeah, see we're all we're just walking up this giant yeah, hill all the way up there to that structure right there. That is the center domination tower. So like a ninety percent chance you're gonna come from our left side, from D five. Then that is where we should meet them and charge them. Right in their faces. But maybe not alone. Oh. Yep, 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 yep. Gonna twist away from all of that. And back on up. Alright, team is pushing forward. We should push forward with them a little. Let's see if we can poke out. Do some damage. We got Delta four, Just a little uh, bit. Somebody's got a real good UAV up there, spotting all of this for us. We pushing or what? Yep, go. We got them on the field. There's a bunch on. of enemy UAVs up this area, so if you get stuck in the center, get by LRS. Yeah, we're getting pushed back here. On hotel. Ah. So we got taken out by focused fire. We took down a blood ass that's right next to us there. 249 damage. That was pretty quick. To deal 249 damage that fast. That was exactly what the build was supposed to do. The dying part was unfortunate, but we did get rained on by LRMs a little bit before that. This guy looks like he's taking fire from two opponents at once. But that just means he's distracting them while the rest of the team pushes. It's still only one and one right now. Yeah, this poor guy has only got MRMs. I don't know what the Thanatos is thinking. Let's switch to somebody else, see what Get we got. Now. Here we go. This Marauder has an LBX-20 and a bunch of medium lasers. Yeah, that bushwhacker's armed with a bunch of rotaries. That's how he took us out. Hotel, lead up. Bushwhacker should fall quick. Bushwhacker looks like he lost two rotaries. Well, we are ahead now. Starting to get some kills. Oh, oh. Being backstabbed by a piranha, it looks like. This guy's real intent on that poke and run strategy. This guy over here can see the action a little bit better. Sniping with PPCs in his Phoenix Hawk. All 
right. Just one left. Target acquired. It's a spider. Should be an easy kill. Because he's in the middle of our team. He's trying to run around, but too many. GG, guys. All right, so that match didn't go super well for us, but it went great for our team. So I think our sacrifice was well worth it then. Sometimes you got to play them like that. Just got to take one for the team. It happens. Like I said, we did deal a lot of damage very quickly in the few seconds that we were actually in combat, which is what this mech is good at doing. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and try changing it up again. Let's go with our Marauder. Go for some heavy laser poke. See how things turn out. This will be the last match for the end of the stream for tonight. Hopefully I will get a chance to stream at some point tomorrow night. Um, hmm. Both of these are all right. Let's try Solara City. Nope, looks like we're getting Tourmaline Desert over there. More assault, or more domination. Yep, more domination. Man, Skirmish has not come up. But domination is basically Skirmish, because everyone has to go to the center. We end up destroying one another anyway. But that is what this game is about, anyhow. Hey guys, let's stick together. This map's kind of 50-50 for LRMs. Lots of large, tall formations around, but also plenty of open space between them. So, and the domination point is settled in a very awkward place with lots of space around it. And like one giant hill. So it's kind of an awkward point but hopefully we'll be able to get in there without too much LRM fire. <coughs> well, awesomes are awesome, so it would make sense. Here we go. This is Clan Command. Get to the target and capture it. Cut down any enemies that get in the way. So this is one of my favorite mechs, honestly, just for this reason. That sound. The sound of, hopefully, the enemy's armor burning and melting away. It's a very hot build, but it deals a lot of poke damage. 
So, if we can get in safely, should be fun. But that is the trick. This is what I'm talking about. There's the domination point. Our enemies are on the other side of it. And our objective, definitely, is to try and get... We don't want to be here. We want to be somewhere safe from LRMs. And that's why. So right behind here is a great place to hide from LRMs because obviously not going to be hitting us from over here and meanwhile we can sort of sneak behind the enemy's flanks but they can also see us too so well that is to say they could also come through here too so we'll see if we're sneaking behind anything we can maybe poke this guy nope looking for a good opportunity Warning, incoming uh oh missile. should be safe yep yep yeah so they have lots and lots of missiles it looks like ah <sighs> how unfortunate but we'll see what that ends up amounting to I wonder why my control groups aren't set again it seems to happen from time to time away from them. The missiles harmlessly hit something else. Well, not harmlessly. Hmm. This is exactly what I want. I don't know why he's coming this close with LRMs. Oh, hi, Atlas. Now we turn away. Turn away. Turn away from the damage. Got some damage. Turn away. Ouch. Yeah, we're getting into the thick of it now. Yeah, doesn't look like we're going to win this fight with the Atlas. Oh, yep. But we did okay. Not great, but okay. Don't know why that mad dog decided to get so close to us when he had LRMs. But anyway, let's see how the rest of the team's doing. Oh, here we go. Or... Oh, man. So, this guy clearly doesn't know what ghost heat is. Ghost heat is extra heat that you get if you stack too many of the same weapon together. This guy is running way too many rack rack fives. See, he's overheated like crazy. So he was clearly a new player. Yeah, it doesn't look like our team's gonna win this one. Yeah, this. This enemy team had a lot of LRMs, unlike our previous two matches. Lots of LRMs. Which is not so good for us. Because we didn't have the LRMs to fight back, apparently. Yeah, this guy's gonna get surrounded. are just dying left and right. Oh well. This is basically just the reverse of what happened in the last match. In the last match, our team curb stomped the enemy pretty hard, and it looks like this time it's our turn. Yep. Yep. Oh well. Games like this will happen from time to time.
just unfortunate that they had so many LRMs. Well, what do you think, chat? Should we go ahead and go for one more, or do you think that's it for tonight? I think I got one more in me, if, you're, if you guys are interested in seeing it. Eh, let's do one more. Why not? Actually, I even got an idea. Let's pull out the old triple rack five Fafnir. Have some fun with it. So, you can't run more than two Rotary 5s without getting Ghost Heat, but you can run three. You'll get some Ghost Heat, but it will be relatively safe still. We're going to try Frozen City. Looks like we're getting Canyon Network, though. We're going to go for Assault. This Conquest is no good. All right. But the Fafnir 5e has some pretty good heat management uh, enhancements that make it possible to run triple rack 5s on it without overheating. So we have pretty solid DPS. Now here on Canyon Network, it's going to be a little tricky. This is like one of the two ultimate LRM maps. So I can only hope. But... We're going to try not going up to the high ground if possible. We're going to try going around the low ground and see if we can pick off people there. Because going to the high ground is just asking to be shot. How's it going, guys? Yeah, solid. Yourself? Hopefully pretty good if we can win this. Got my triple Rack 5 Fafnir. Let's have some fun. It's all about the LRMs today, isn't it? Uh, the Fafnir 5e has uh, minus 10% heat. Uh, along with all the other enhancements, I can fire triple rack fives pretty efficiently without having to worry too much about ghost heat. They got ECM? No, sadly the 5e does not come with an ECM slot. Well, we already got somebody. I'm not sure his heart was really in the bench. Yeah, someone over that hill there in D4. Target acquired. Target spotted. There's an archer right there.
go. There we go. So rotary fives after firing for a while will jam. Oh, oh, oh. So we're gonna go ahead and pelt this guy with lots and lots of firepower. He's gonna try and twist to get out of some of it. We did overheat, but he took a lot of damage on the approach. Yep. Easy kill, but it looks like they're piling in after us. Oh my gosh, another game where we die quickly. But again, we did pretty good damage for only being in the fight for a few seconds. Man, seems to be happening a lot. Maybe it's because commentating and staying with the group are difficult to do at the same time. Well, we got rid of that Cyclops, dealt some damage to the Archer, and to whatever that other mech was that killed us. So our team should be set up pretty well. And another LRM boat doing LRM boat things. The enemies are awfully spread out. This Mad Cat's just like up in our faces. Wow. That's kind of surprising. Hmm. This is an awfully weird spread for our enemies. But, I mean, apparently we're okay with this. Just getting free damage on this Atlas from our LRM boats. Meanwhile, this guy, this catapult with LBXs and medium lasers, he wants to brawl, he wants to get right in the action. couple of shotguns and some lasers. Looks like a decent build. If anyone's wondering what that strange sound is, that is a glitch. The rotary's uh, sound effect doesn't go away even after you die and you're spectating others. It's kind of an annoying glitch, but unfortunately I think the only way to get rid of it is to have someone else with rotaries fire their rotaries if you're spectating them. Hopefully it's not too annoying. Yeah, I really should have stuck closer to the team. I wasn't paying enough attention to where I was. I just knew I didn't want to be on the high ground because I'd just get targeted by a bunch of LRMs. And, to be fair, I didn't die to LRMs, so I was sort of right. There we go. So it looks like our team is doing pretty good here. This guy's having kind of the same problem that I was having earlier. I'm trying to find targets, trying to get in range to actually hit anything. Canyon Network, in case you haven't noticed, is kind of treacherous terrain. It's ups and downs everywhere, so it's it's very easy to go in and out. Which can mean sometimes that it's difficult to find things to shoot. There we go. Solid. GG guys. Have our hands for days. So we did our part though. We got a kill most damage dealt. Tons of assists because we damaged lots of people. So another match where where we died early, yet we dealt okay damage and our team still won it 
Whew, so apparently I need to work on staying with the group while commentating. That's what I have learned today. But anyway, that's going to do it for tonight. It has been fun. But it is definitely time for bed. So thank you all for coming, and I will see you guys in the next stream.